case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In United States v. Progressive Inc., a 1979 case heard by the United States District Court for the Western District of Wisconsin, the balance between national security and freedom of speech was at stake. The conflict arose when the Progressive prepared to publish an article about the hydrogen bomb, which the government claimed contained classified information vital to national security. The defendants, including the Progressive and writer Howard Moreland, argued that their First Amendment right to freedom of speech protected the publication. Initially, the court issued a temporary restraining order to halt the publication, but scheduled a preliminary injunction hearing a week later to weigh the interests of both parties and the public. Ultimately, the court found that the information in question was not already public and could potentially cause significant harm to national security if published. As a result, the court issued a preliminary injunction against the defendants, barring them from publishing the secret restricted data found within the article. The court's decision favored national security concerns over First Amendment rights, asserting that the potential acceleration of thermonuclear weapons development in other countries outweighed the defendants' freedom of speech. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.